Okay, well, f- firstly, welcome to, uh, to New Finance, to the first of our six-month series on insurance. I'm Eddie George, and I founded New Finance, and my background is sort of computer science, financial technology. I worked in the insurance industry for four years as the CTO of Lighthouse, so I do know a bit about insurance, but I also know about banking as well. Mark Pierce is the head of analytics at Iris. Hi everyone, Um, delighted to be here today. We helped Eddie out with the pilot of these last year and it was absolutely fantastic. There was um, lots of buzz when we were there and lots of opportunity came out of it afterwards too. Um, Iris, for those who don't know, is a a technology company that focuses on financial services. So we have sourcing engines, we work very much with intermediaries as well. So if you've got any questions about the industry because you're an entrepreneur and innovator, you want to know more about how technology can work in this sector, definitely come to me or our CTOs here today. I can't see him yet, but he'll be here later and he'll have a lot of opinion on that. Um, Really looking forward to this. It's going to be a really good day. Get stuck in. Thank you. Uh, Mella. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to be your facilitator today, so I'll help you work better, and also I'll be capturing all your input live. Thanks. Mel is going to be scribing this, and a large picture is going to appear there as, as all the ideas come out. We have six experts here today, both from in and out of the industry. So one of the principles here is to have industry experts from insurance, but have big data analytics experts as well, and so we can, we can get out of the box kind of thinking and in, inside the box thinking. Um, we're going to have some very short panel sessions with those experts, and then we'll have a couple of breakout groups, one to look at how the insurance value chain will be disrupted, so that's the first question. How does this technology, what's the potential to disrupt, and then how would you turn that to your advantage? The thing I think that's really happened here is, is Moore's Law you know, halving the cost of everything and doubling the performance. So we have a couple of interesting things that have come out. So one is the ability to store huge amounts of data, which go far beyond anything we've ever done before. And the other one is be able to bring on calls on safe from cloud to actually analyze that data in real time. So let's just take a quick look at the objectives. Again, I won't read these out to you. But the key thing for me is there's networking here, but more importantly, it's all about idea creation. The implication of this workshop is Insurance hasn't yet been disrupted by, by these technologies, very, very little, not in the way banking has. So when we designed this series, the idea was to look at a series of disruptors and analyze how they're disrupting, which is very different from me showcasing disruption because we don't have much disruption to showcase. So we're going to do a breakout session now, and Mel is going to tell us how we're going to rearrange this place. So at each of the stations, you have an assignment which summarizes what we'll be talking about. The main question we're looking at is how can insurance be disrupted with big data and analytics and particularly focus on the assumptions that were mentioned and the different areas of insurance. the business case has to supersede all of the you can't do it though you can't change you can't change the spots that's what we're going to do then you've got under here the uh, personal <laughs> Every account is going to see me. You just buy the game. He knows that as you play the game, that's what it impacts. It's something that's an absolute point. It's something that's an absolute point. I'm sure we have some really good ideas. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go through the groups and ask the very technical 